I know this is a Republican celebration, but I have the honor of introducing a man who is so democratic, he picks on everybody equally, even a little kid like me. Mr. Don Rickles. Be funny. First black kid I ever saw, he'll definitely never play basketball. That's what it's about, New York. Italians, Jews, Irish, whatever the hell you are. You're people. That's what I love about this city. There's a chemistry. I swear to God. You're an, are you an Irishman? Are you an Irish kid? What are you, a bird? <laughs> Good evening, Mr. President. Nice to see you, sir. And your lovely wife, Nancy. It's, it's a big treat for me to fly all the way from California to be here for this kind of money. <laughs> I don't care what you are. You're fat. I'll tell you this. And I love the black people, we need you people, I swear, because no Jew's gonna make up a train. <laughs> I come out, I come out, and it's my trademark. I tend to maybe jump around a little bit. What do you really think about it? I think you're making a fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think Neil Armstrong, or Neil? <laughs> Over here, Neil, you're down. Uh... <coughs> Jeez, and now I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> God almighty, get, it, get, you, get you something, an injection or something for crying out loud. I don't need this. I was a healthy Jew. I come out here, I can see when the show's over, I'm going to be in a hospital going, <laughs> it was Jay Leno. <laughs> when we go on hunts, we run out of animals, we chase her. <laughs> I, I tell you, I was frightened to death, but it was a great experience. You have two kids, two fine sons, three. <laughs> Is that in a trailer camp? That was it. Uh, and I have two. Yes. And I have one in the Philippines. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Hey, the war was on. I was lonely oh, really? after a truck. What did I know? You want candy? Like a dummy, I stopped. But, uh... My lovely wife is sitting there knowing that when I die, she's going to come into a lot of money. Bob Hope, as you all know, he's in the back, standing there with three soldiers and an American flag saying, find another war. <laughs> I'll bring love and I'll bring peace. And I've been kindness and warmth. I love the black people. <laughs> the black people of my life, my world, they do what they're told. <laughs> We're honoring Mr. T. Why? <laughs> I met this man many, many years ago in a 7 Eleven store, and he said, Give me your money. <laughs> Chinese, right? Chinese? This girl here? If you're not, get your eyes fixed. <laughs> Look at the Chinese boy sitting there going, who's Chinese? Who's Chinese? Clint, I say with due respect, 28 years ago we did Kelly's Heroes and I haven't heard from you since. <laughs> Clint, I say it, nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. You're a lousy actor. Spielberg and all these guys at the table, oh, we know Clint, I know you. Clint's idea of a good time is sitting on a pickup truck watching his dog bark. <laughs> Mother Eastwood is laughing, knowing damn well you never had so much money in your whole life. <laughs> your son played the bass, we sat through that. Now, probably, your daughter will come up here and do the tango. <laughs> but you know, Clint, and I know, that I have so much on you, which I won't say tonight. Because <laughs> if I spill it out, you're going to be back in Rawhide. <laughs> and now you're in your late 60s. 
Live up to it. It's over. <laughs> but, Clint, I understand you're engaged now. I don't know if that's official, but whatever the story is, dear, good luck. <laughs> A lot of happiness, dear. <laughs> But we had great days together, Clint. Let's have lunch. <laughs> God bless you, and I love you. Sugar Ray is a great champion. Sugar, we'd ask you to talk, but you know the blacks, your lips lock. <laughs> How long have you had that? Anyway, uh, you don't got enough. You, you don't have enough trouble, now you got a twitch. Man's sitting there like a Jew whale, and he's twitching. People like Bob Hope. He is not Irish, he's not Jewish, he's not Italian, he's not black. Just all American guy. When he was born, he, he came out of his mother with a flag wrapped around him. And Angeline, you're a lovely woman and gorgeous. And I'm happily married, but my wife is ill. Her body dances and tingles. My wife's body just lays in the bed and goes... an old walrus, but I gotta be nice because everything's in her name. I kid the black man, and you know that, baby. And you were beautiful to Telly. Telly is a great Greek, and you're a great black man, and I'm a Jew. And I say this from my heart. On behalf of the Greeks and the Jewish people, don't move into the neighborhood. Oh, by the way, I, I would be... I would be amiss if I didn't mention that Bob Hope is here tonight. It's good to see you, Bob. <laughs> He's here because there's no war on. <laughs> Milton, my idol. Still here, Milt. Wonderful guy. 65 years in the business, huh? 65 years in show business and you don't want to walk away. It's all over, Milton. Grab a cab. Secretary of State's here. <laughs> and Billy Graham, nice to see you, sir. <laughs> this hand is bothering me. Anyway. By the way, for the first time tonight, mm -hmm. I met your son. Oh, you did? Yes, he's a wonderful kid. Oh, good, yeah. And he gave me a, some cocaine and some... Oh, he did? <laughs> no, that's a joke. I told him to make it happen. Hi, kid, Sammy. You're a black man. I took a guess. <laughs> if you ain't black, you fell into a bucket of M&M's, I'll tell you. Holman <laughs> got it right, Andy. Do good, Conan. Do good. Got a boy, Andy. Patty Cake Baker is mad. Patty Cake is mad. I'm Andy. I'm Conan Sight. Oh, oh. Um, where's the clown? Where's Bozo? <laughs> Freddie Prince was your buddy, and we need the Puerto Rican people. I quote the grades of a, the, the grades, the words of a great Puerto Rican, Manuel Hatesis, who said to me in New York, "You want more coffee?" <laughs> Where did you go? Did you take her somewhere? Did you travel? I knew you loved to travel. What do you mean, travel. take her? It's not a dog. I don't walk it. It's a my wife. <laughs> but I take her someplace. Yeah, here, here, Barbara, here. Roll over. Here. We were uh, working at the uh, Grand Casino in, in uh, outside of Memphis. Outside? How far outside? What the hell are you from? The travel agency? <laughs> I don't remember casino gambling. Well, who has to remember? <laughs> Nobody. What are you? What are you? My guardian? I don't have to tell you where I go. <laughs> Jesus. 40 million Jews. I got to meet a truant officer here. <laughs> Uncle Frank was the security guard, and by the stage door, in those days, see, you went right out into the casino mm -hmm. when you came off with the show. This isn't too fast for you, is it? No, no. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you're, looking at, you're looking at me like I'm a chemistry set. <laughs> and he used to stand by the door, you know, uh -huh. every night, every night. And I'd come out and he'd go, stand back, everybody, stand back, Mr. Rickles is coming, bro. Stand back, stand back. And there was nobody there. <laughs> My wife said to me last night, as we laid in bed, she said, is Lucy young? And I said, baby, young is not the point. It's what's in your heart. Right, Lucy? Lucy? <laughs> Put her in a home. Uh, look at this. The husband went, yeah. Now. I'm delighted that you have a show because you're fresh, you're funny, you're great. And I want you to know something. From my heart, I never liked you. Howard Cosell, I will mention your name, only because you have asked for it. 
Frank Sinatra would be here tonight, but there was too much excitement, so he called it off. Uh, she's, she's, I'm sure she's very active in her social life. <laughs> I don't mean, I don't mean the bed and things like that. You don't mean an anchor bed or anything? No, like no, that. no, no, nothing on a high wire with a canary, nothing right. like that, you know. <laughs> and I know you're very, very, you date constantly. <laughs> Do you? Anyway, <laughs> the heck with it, let's get it. <laughs> we laugh. Why do we laugh? Black because away. Because we must laugh. That's right. Look, look, look who became the priest. <laughs> no, you're a Catholic and I'm a Jew and Sammy, you're black. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, you're oh, that's very sweet. You're a comedian. Everybody loves you up here. Thank you, darling. Let's have lunch. Oh, gee, by all means. <laughs> Come on up and see me. <laughs> Give me a break, lady. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, God bless you. Doc. <laughs> we'll work it out. <laughs> Give well, it look, look for me. <laughs> So, welcome to New York. Did you have you ha are you having fun here? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I got in the car and he uh, was hijacked. <laughs> no, no, I love New York. Did you go out last night? Yeah, I was yeah. born and Yeah, of course you were. Of course I went out last night. No, I worked the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the hotel folding newspapers for tomorrow. <laughs> Remember the words of a great Negro. I say that honestly. All peoples are alike. We are all working. You live in my neighborhood. I live in yours. Right, Sam? Right. Are you crazy? <laughs> Marty, I would address... Somebody get a phone book so you can see me. <laughs> Marty, when we see all the films you did, none of them were great. <laughs> Darren McGavin, you're, The Night Stalker is my favorite show. In fact, I use that one, your show, as a nightlight when I fool with the wife. <laughs> It's kind of hard being Snoop Deagle Double G, but I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day. You hear that, Don? No, I'm deaf. <laughs> <laughs> I like you very much, Tully. I like you more than I thought I would like you. Please sit down because we could be married in an hour. I'd like you to know this is Nell Carter. I did, a, I did a, had the pleasure of being a guest star on her show, Give Me a Break. I brought her a lovely gift, and she said, I'm not talking to you, man. I'm not talking to you. She's a lovely, lovely star. You ask her. Uh, I've seen her in a bathrobe in the dressing room, and people go, I'm being sucked under! And George Papard, who keeps calling me on the phone, saying, why is that black guy getting the bigger lines? Anyway, uh, George isn't jealous, but when you go to bed tonight, <laughs> Try to listen for a clock. Uh, your part, George, is getting smaller and smaller. Tell him what you told me, how you're fed up with the blacks and you don't want them in your neighborhood. Anyway, uh, but we need the blacks. Without them, there'd be no Olympics. You're Chinese, right? Chinese? This girl here? If you're not, get your eyes fixed. <laughs> Look at a Chinese boy sitting there going, who's Chinese? Who's Chinese? You in the air corps? Yes, I am. Ours? <laughs> Would you rise? Put a rubber band on your can and you can take off. <laughs> You're a big son of a gun. My gun. You ever think of putting a window on your face and becoming a building? <laughs> What's your first name, my darling? Jewel. Jewel? And how long you been married? Two years. He's 300 pounds. Don't you get worried when he makes his move? <laughs> Do what you're doing now. Oh. Oh. Milton Burrow, my idol since I'm a kid. But now, Milton, I say this from my heart. Show business in your life, thyself be thee with your new book. Love thee and know thyself, Milton. He's old, he understands. <laughs> we went, uh, oh, many years ago. My wife and I, when the Trump Plaza just went up, and we said, we're going to see the apartments. This is your wife, Barbara? I'm talking to them. <laughs> no, it's a hooker from Detroit. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? No, I'm sorry. Tonight, you're a nervous wreck. You're going to Brooklyn like it's exciting, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Build a bridge on your ass and go home early. <laughs> Jack Penny is over on the end. He didn't want to go for the table. Frank, I love you. Gumbachi, never need to be in the Bobachi. Tat the Rintibunti, Tungander Bante.
I say this way. I, shut up. I hate when a when a spade butts in. Now. You say spade one more time and there'll be troops in front of your door tomorrow. They can't do nothing because I tap dance. <laughs> I look around this room, and this is the home of the blacks. And I say three. And I, uh, God bless you, black people. I love you. I really do. Uh, as you're laughing here, I'm sure one of you guys is up in my hotel room robbing me. Well, Phyllis Diller, you're a dear friend. And I must tell you, God bless you. God has given you the way you look. Do not be ashamed of it. When you were born, you probably hit the wall. <laughs> oh, I used to go down in the locker room, you know, right. with the Dodgers. In the old days, Tommy would say, Dun -dun. oh, the best one, he said, go out to the mound and take the picture out on, on appreciation. It is true. And, I, and he, I put on the uniform. I said, Tommy, you'll get fine. Don't worry, just go out there. I walk out to the mound. In the game? Huh? In the middle of the game? No, in Detroit. <laughs> How did you get this show? I don't know. <laughs> you moron. You moron. Telling a story. Where do you think it was? You... <laughs> just put out. Just sit there sorry, and no. hope to God you got the job. Like <laughs> I, can, I can go anyway, in the back no, if you no, want. No, I, I, I love this man. Listen, so I go out to the mound. Mm -hmm. the big Mexican kids out there. Mm -hmm. And I said, give me the ball. He goes, you can't take that out of the game. Who the hell are you? Who are you? I said, the... The manager, I'm taking the ball. You can't take the ball if I cried out loud. Give me back. And, and I grabbed the ball. With that, Harry Windlestead, who was gone, rest his soul, was a great umpire. He runs out, rips off the mask, and he says, It's Don Rickles. Can you get me two tickets to the Dean Martin show? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this wonderful day. It's Frank Gorshin, his whole life is Burt Lancaster. Joey Bishop, who passed away and wasn't told about it. <laughs> I was really bad in love till you arrived. Yeah. Now I can see in color why it was gray oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I was looking And then if it's a lucky yeah, yeah. Hmm. I can't believe that I was here on oh, my John actually paid for Bob Saget's oh. birthday party. Well, Did you right, know okay. that? Well, John's lonely. What do I know? Uh, <laughs> you oh, were invited. Yeah. I think you, you had That's a gig. too big. I don't need that with Bob Saget. <laughs> but the, he's, uh, one thing, he's got beautiful daughters. We just saw them in New York. Uh -huh. Saget's great, and he's a different. His, a different of mine. The, the two of them come to my house occasionally. Well, not to my house. That, that would be pushing it. Uh, <laughs> in restaurants. And when I first met, right? When I first, yes. They always ask me, what do you think of this girl? Do you think it's okay? <laughs> you know, they, and I got to check these girls out, you know. Right. And I, you know, I got my own, you know, I'm married 51 years to a hooker. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a joke. She's backstage now going, I don't think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Youngstown, Ohio, right? At, what, what's that town you come from? Steubenville. Steubenville. Why, that's better? <laughs> anyway, uh, Steubenville, Ohio. De Niro is sitting there. God bless you, Bob. He's got the beard on. You, to, to know him is a treat. He's one of the great actors of our time. You ask him. Uh, you ask him. He'll tell you. I laugh at the blacks, the whites, the purples. Mostly the blacks. <laughs> Remember the words of George Foreman who said after the Muhammad Ali fight, was I down? <laughs> Three of us in the dressing room. Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and me, you know. I was sitting there, and, and, try, and we're ready to go on for the president, you know. So Frank says, no drinking, guys. Now, you understand it? No drinking. He says, you got it, pal. We're not going to take anything. And Rickles, you know, we're not going to take no drinks. No drinks. We're not going to have anything. And Frank goes out of the room, and Dean opens up his coat, and there's a row of booze right in the coat. <laughs> <laughs> and that night, we made Ronald Reagan know he's alive. <laughs> to the black people, remember the words of a great Negro. Johnson Jones, who sat in Biloxi, Mississippi on a Saturday night. If the white man and the Negro can work in harmony, the people know that the white folk and the man is harmony with love. Bless. Oh, oh, God bless you, America. <laughs> We're going to have a baby. Real dummy. Jack, take a good look at your face. You, you need surgery. You must have ran into a cab on an angle. 
to stop the band. We stop the band. The band. It's a wall. Stop the band. I, I, I yes. What, what's, what's the occasion? What's the occasion? Tell me the occasion. Who are we honoring? What? Forget him. Who else? <laughs> Gee, it's murder. I gotta come out here. I gotta try to do a job. Uh, Forty-eight hours of entertainers. And, uh, hi, Bob. How are you? I spoke to the home. You're gonna sit up Friday. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you this. Look at the astronaut sitting over here, Gene Cernan, went to the moon and hasn't been straight since. You got a lot of big names here tonight. Some of the greats turned out for you. Kay Medford, who had a very busy schedule in downtown Hollywood looking for bad apples. Good luck to you. I spoke to the people in Bethlehem. They expect you. Nice to see you, Jeff. What do you do for a living, Jeff? Nothing. Nothing. Nice to see you. What do you do for a living, Mr. Collis? I'm an optometrist. Oh, wonderful. I hope it goes away. <laughs> Maybe that would be all right for you, an optometrist. It's better than sitting around on the beach all day waiting for birds to die. <laughs> in the early days, you, you tried acting first at the Actors Studio, right? Right here in New York? Well, it wasn't the Actors Studio. It was what too was big it? for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, okay, which I graduated go. from, and I'm very proud of that. Mm -hmm. I really am. <coughs> and the audience is too. And you became friends? Sounds like a Bob Newhart turnout. <laughs> You're a lovely woman, Lawander. Good luck in your plans to go white. <laughs> and uh, Connie Stevens. <laughs> if Ann Margaret takes a cab, you'll be hot in this business. <laughs> Bob Newhart made the claim that he was my closest friend. I have never met Bob Newhart. <laughs> I'll put it to you another way. Bob Newhart goes to many gay parties. Oh, Julia Roberts, you live next to me at the beach. You know that. <laughs> Thanks for all the visits. Anyway, uh, I'm living about two blocks from you. The broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. We're closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia. Just nod. Anyway, uh, this man was married to a great many women in his life. They're all flat now. But it's a great night. Bob, I'm so happy for you, really. But do us a favor. Get off the air. I mean, how long? I mean, the, the soldiers, the, the Navy, they're getting tired. Every time there's a war, you're right there in Iran. They're fed up. They're fighting. You go, I want to tell you with your golf club, it's over. I'm a friend. Go to Lloyd, people. Go. Costa, sit in the steam room, don't bother people. Everybody made a fuss of it tonight. I'm fed up, I swear, I'm fed up. It's all over, Bob. I mean, George at least has old bones, old bones, bones. At least George has a song to get off. You have nothing. What, would, you, would you stand up there? Can I grab you by the legs? I want to dust. There you go. Ah, oh, it's lovely to see you. Over here, buddy. Over here. Over oh. here. What are you staring at them for? No, they, that was so sweet to, to stand up. I, I guess the underwear stuck. That's so sweet of you, really. You, when you get older, you know, and you get that kind of reception, you, you want to walk away and say, why am I with him? Yeah. <laughs> you oh, good? Look, look, look at that. Filipinos. <laughs> are, you, are you Filipinos? Oh, God. Two and a half years. Two and a half years looking for your uncle. <laughs> Navy. World War II. Big one. Big one. Sabu, Tak Lobin, Lingai and Golf, Mindanao. I was there. All, all, all. I'll be with you in a minute. All, right. all trees, all jungle, now big cities. Wonderful. We went up to Manila, and MacArthur's still sitting there going, Am I dead? God bless you. Great country. I'm not going back there. No, no. What does that mean, Doc? That means get off my mind. <laughs> Why are those blacks all the way in the back? <laughs> hey, if Obama wins, this is your state. <laughs>
<laughs> One night he's working in the lounge in the Sahara. And of course, he's hilarious. And everybody that was anybody in town that meant anything come to watch him. People, guys would cut their show so they can get out in time to watch him. I mean, he was the biggest draw and r customers couldn't get in. They, everybody wanted to see Rickles. And one night he gets a guy at the bar and he's saying to him, come here, Nazi, bite the stick. Kiss the ring, Nazi. Come here, Nazi. Hey, Nazi, Nazi, I'll show you this, Nazi. Stand up. And the guy stands up, Rickles on a stage. The stage is seven feet tall. The guy stands up. And after he stands up, he's not on a stage. He's eye to eye. <laughs> and Rickle says to him, hey, you want to spit on a Jew? <laughs> Who told you to butt in? I'm getting fed up with you. That's Dave Wilson, our director. I'm fed up with you, Dave. I never liked you. The cast doesn't like you. And we're fed up, Dave. And I hope you go home to the wife tonight. Try to make love and miss. Sereno, Mariano, Garena, Sereno, Mariano. Oh, that was the other guy. God bless. There's a new thing called dress up. Thank you. I mean, we worry about the homeless, but you're a Jew derelict. <laughs> I've always liked you better than the other guy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, better not. Anyway, uh, no, God bless you. Black or white, well, we're working for the same cause. <laughs> to find you work. <laughs> anyway, you're doing so great, Ricky. God bless you. Dressed as a Jew in safari. Anyway, uh, I've never met an ape. <laughs> anyway, uh, Get the black chick to back it up. I make jokes about the black people, and why not? Because I'm not one. <laughs> Good seeing you, Don. Do you like the California life? Of course, my hunting dogs, we have a big estate. The <laughs> wife keeps running on the ground saying, we're rich, we're rich. It's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful life. It was better than Miami in two rooms with my mother, rest her soul, lifting up the curtain and saying, do you have a girl in there? <laughs> No, it's a great life. You ought to come out here, Larry, as soon as you can chip in and get a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know where I'm looking. I'm talking to a blank screen. You're over there. I don't know where I'm talking to. I feel like I'm Char uh, uh, Ray Charles without my organ. <laughs> what do you think of our studios in Los Angeles? I think they're cheap and they should be painted. <laughs> Bad area, really. Well, I, I walked into the office. It's one big drape and 100 people sitting at a desk going, uh, uh, they're all dazed. These people are dazed. <laughs> Larry, do yourself a favor, walk away from this, you don't need it. <laughs> Nobody gets CNN in California. A, a, a little German guy in the cellar is still trying to read Hitler. He's going, I think I got Larry King. It's a little, little cellar. Don, you're Bad getting, move. am I right, are you getting gray? Yes, Larry, I'm getting older, <laughs> doing shows like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, how many years do we know each other? Well, at least 18, 19 years, yes. something I'm like fed that. up. <laughs> He started me in the old days in New York, in Basin Street East. We That's go back right. that far. That's right. And you hung around New York and ran every club in town. Buddy Rich is your idol, I understand. Well, we've made a few rounds. Yeah, you, Buddy Rich, in all those days. And Ed, you weren't there then. You, you were in Jersey with your wife saying you want more. Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take the stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups Our planet's is drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill and mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand 
But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a scan Or taffy <laughs> And uh How's Victoria, your lovely wife? Fine, She's got a lovely wife yeah. Eleven, yeah, she is. Eleven, is she? <laughs> 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 11 years old, I found her yesterday in the park going, Where's my Eddie? Where's my Eddie? I married a nice, conservative, Jewish, yes. lovely girl. Lovely bar. Some, oh, four, oh, whatever. She don't like to bring up the age, but it's starting to show her neck. It's starting to hang a little bit. <laughs> but I'll tell you this, look at those people in the balcony. You could have been sitting at Bob's table, <laughs> but she didn't want to chip in. That's it? That's it. The tune is Caballero. It's not a holiday. Sit down. Good evening, Don. How are you, buddy? Frank, this is one of the most exciting nights. I'm in a tux. Ed's in a tux. George Burns, God bless you, the senior man, and this man did not figure you were big enough to dress up. <laughs> oh, I, personally, am fed up that I'm dressed like this. Of course, the last time I was, it was in Brooklyn, when Carmine Gambonazzo said, Guido's gone. <laughs> now, Italians, please don't phone in. I am a Jew and you're Italians, and we're all working for one cause, to find out how this girl got to look like that. <laughs> how do you so feel? Before, I feel great. Before you, before you jump all over me for me. Jump all over you, Frank. I'm not that lonely. I... <laughs> I want to tell you that I'm so happy about the success of your show. I really am. Thanks. You deserve coming. it. It's Thank a you. good show. Funny show. That's a funny show. Thanks. Coming from you, Frank, I appreciate it. And I've gotten a lot of shots. Freddie DeCovita, DeCovita, and uh, Johnny Carson. They've all made shots at me and uh, with fun and with love. Yeah. And I'm delighted because I think we have a great group of kids. I love I'm, the kids on the show. They're all and, clever and, and they're funny. And we worked hard. And uh, Dick Slattery, we've added as a fine captain. And the ratings came in this week, and it seems America is finding us, and we're delighted. I'm glad for you. I think it's, I think it's, it's about time, actually. It's about time. Uh, what else is new, Frank? Well, I'll tell you what's new. The following so people will report to an alley in Brooklyn. <laughs> Manganzo Mambananzo. Un papi tumbaninzi. Aldo Mambano. Oh. Now, cut That's that a out. cancel. That's a cancel. See, with Frank, if I may say, Frank, because you've been singing and dancing and just breaking it up out here. <laughs> uh, with Frank, they always make it like gangsters, Italians are gangsters, Jews have all the money. Well, that's a fact. But they always make it like Italian guys, the, right, the Irish writer, always the politicians, Carol, George. George, you up? Don't laugh. 81 years. I can see my mother now. God bless her in Florida going, Don't make fun of the elderly! <laughs> George, I'll give you 500. You don't even have to stay with her. <laughs> I'll, I'll take 300. <laughs> I love him, and I, I know him so many years, and he's a great man. And Ed, I never liked you. Ed was in the Marine Corps, when the planes were attacking Pearl Harbor, he was going... <laughs> to the Queen! <laughs> Hurry back, John. Hurry back. <laughs> Hurry back, John. <laughs> when I ask you a very honest question, I want an honest answer. Sure. Who is your you favorite... You are Well, who is your favorite male singer? Honest? Yeah. Dick Hames. <laughs> Dick Hames, I've never... I've heard you with the modern ears at the Paramount. Ooh. You always annoy me. I watch the Ink Spots, the Mills Brothers. Notice how I pick black guys because they make up my bunks. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Now, that's a joke. You black people... <laughs> I must tell you, Frank, it's all over for you, Frank. 
You're, you always say to me, and always he says with warmth and love, he says to me, Don, stop with the age. Age is how you feel. And I can hear my mom and my darling wife, who's not even in the audience. Your wife, Barbara's in the audience. I spotted her because she's loaded like this. The jewelry is... <laughs>